Christmas came early for a nine-year-old boy in Situate. A group of engineering students at the high school used a 3D printer to create a prosthetic arm for the little boy. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima was there for the grand unveiling, and she joins us now at the story new at six. Nine-year-old Ollie Mancini was born without the lower portion of his left arm. He always wanted a prosthetic, and now, thanks to new technology and his older peers, Ollie's dream is coming true. It was just like Christmas morning for nine-year-old Ollie Mancini, but instead of unwrapping a toy or a game, Ollie received a gift that will change his life, a brand new prosthetic arm. And the fact that they wanted to help me and they wanted to help my son is the greatest gift that anyone could ever have. Nicole Mancini adopted Ollie from China when he was just two years old. Along with being Ollie's mom, Mancini is an eighth grade math teacher in Situate. She actually taught many of the students who helped make her son's new prosthetic arm. I was blown away. I was like, is this actually going to be something that we're working on? Because I'm so used to going into class and working on, you know, equations or just studying. And then when I, when, now I'm getting to come to class and we're working on an arm for a child. It's like it's a spectacular feeling. Working with nonprofit Enable, the Situate Academy of Engineering students researched, developed, and created a custom fit 3D printed prosthetic arm for Ollie. Now he won't have to work as hard to do some of the things that that most people take for granted. Things like putting on a winter hat, writing at his desk at school, even giving a high five. I, I love that. After everyone got a hug, Ollie joined in on a round of applause. For the first time in his life. When asked what he's most excited to do with his new arm, Ollie says he can't wait to ride a bike. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.